Well, it's looking like we have a very impactful winter storm across the area, and it could continue for several days in some areas. Look at our watches, warnings, and advisories. The holiday season, you could say this is lit up like a Christmas tree. You gotta stop trying to be a comedian. I won't quit my day job. Anyway, you got three different colors here. I'll explain those to you. The uh, bluish, purplish area out here. These are winter weather advisories. There'll be some snow in these areas, but not a huge impact. Many of these out in the west, especially say from about Camera up towards Jackson, these will probably be dropped later on tonight as the snow comes to an end as we head toward Tuesday. The main impacts shift more to the east. Now, the uh, pink color, that's uh, winter storm warning, more impacts there. We did upgrade Riverton and Lander. They were an advisory, put them up to a warning. Looks like more snow falling in this area as well. Also, the eastern half of Sweetwater County extends Casper up toward KC. Now, the most notable color is the orange. It's actually a blizzard warning. The snow plus some very strong winds could make travel nearly impossible. In our area, mainly up around the Buffalo area, northern Johnson County, also includes Sheridan. But word of warning, if you have to travel to the east, especially east of Casper down toward Cheyenne, Travel is absolutely not advised here for the next couple of days, so you may want to rethink your plans unless you absolutely have to travel there. As we look at the time of maximum impact, now areas out west will be through this evening. We should see conditions improving as we head through the night and into tomorrow. Bighorn Basin, maximum impacts through about Tuesday morning. Riverdale and Lander should see the worst impacts through Tuesday evening and then gradually improving as we head toward Wednesday. Also Rock Springs as well. Now, the two longest lasting areas, remember we talked a couple days ago about that wraparound precipitation. This is like Casper through Wednesday morning there, but the worst of the storm here is probably going to be in Buffalo. Maybe not the highest snowfall amounts, but the biggest impacts is there will be some very strong winds there probably for several days. and may actually last all the way through Friday with ground blizzard conditions, even if the snow comes to an end. Now looking at the impacts, travel problems, that's a slam dunk, very high chance of seeing that. There probably will be some road closures across the area. Make sure you go to the wideout page if you have to travel to see if those roads are closed. Cold temperatures, this system's coming from the Pacific. It's not coming from the Arctic, so there will be some chilly temperatures, but December in Wyoming, these temperatures we're going to get next few days really aren't going to be all that bad. And blowing snow, high impact there, but again, that all depends on location. Places like Buffalo, probably very high. More protected areas, probably low to medium. It just depends. And speaking of those winds, you can see the strongest winds up in this area, maybe 40, maybe 50 miles per hour in Buffalo. Lows going to be sitting out in this area off the screen. And we're gonna, it's going to be deepening. A lot of uh, pressure gradient here is going to bring those northwest winds in here. And that's a very uh, prone area for northwest flow is uh, Buffalo. But many of the areas could see gusts of maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. Also about gusts of 30, 35 along the I-80 corridor. But that's pretty par for the course there. But I-80 is not going to be very fun to travel across either, especially when you get east of Rock Springs. And some probabilistic stuff for snow. This is a percent chance of seeing two inches or more. Pretty much everywhere from about Crow Heart, Rock Springs, onto the east, just about 100% chance of seeing that. Less of a chance up here across the Bighorn Basin. And uh, maybe an additional two inches down here across the southern, southwestern portions of the state. Tapering off rapidly as you head up toward Jackson, though. We'll bump this up to six inches. Again, mainly east of the divide for this. East of Rock Springs, basically Lander, Thermopolis onto the east, with the exception of the Bighorn Basin. Very good chance around Riverdale, about 90% chance, 94 in Casper, about 90 in KC, 73 up around Buffalo. So I'm from about 7 to 10 to about 9 to 10 to seeing that. And we bumped this up to a foot. Chances drop quite a bit. Still about a 50-50 a chance around uh, the Lander area and about a 50% chance around Casper, but the chances really drop off here. But some places get 12, 13, 14 inches of snow. Don't be surprised. Now as far as what we're going to see as far as... Uh, at least this much snow, we bumped it up to six inches around Riverdale Lander, at least nine inches probably around the Casper area, about five around Buffalo. They were from about two to five along the I-80 corridor, but that's the uh, minimum amount. And we bumped this up to the likely maximum amount we're going to see. Many places over a foot, 12 to 16 inches possible, things set up right across the Wind River Basin, six, 15 inches around Thermopolis, 17, maybe 18 inches in Casper, and around a foot anywhere along I-25. And along uh, I-80, uh, anywhere from about 6 to 12, the highest amounts out toward Wam Sutter, and out toward the Carbon County line. Now, as far as our official forecast, the most likely scenario we're going to see, you can see about 8 to 12 around Riverdale, more as you head toward Lander, also Casper as well, 12 to 18. There's 6 to 8 around Buffalo, and along I-80, 6 to 8 around, uh, probably 4 to 8 around Rock Springs, higher amounts toward uh, Wam Sutter. And across the, uh, this area out in the west, Two to three around Jackson. Most of that will fall before uh, midnight, and about six to eight here. But low meteorology here, you can really see the way the wind's blowing. Have that northeast wind coming in like this, northeast flow, like this. Mountains here, Thermopolis gets a lot. Also, River and Lander upsloping against the wind rivers. And also, Casper is an upslope against Casper Mountain. Here's our resources here. You want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash R-A-W. 
For road conditions, I want to emphasize this. Don't call us for road conditions. We don't have any insider information. We just go right to YDOT just like you do. So go to this site. It's a great site to see road conditions, wildroad.info. If you're in state, call 511. Coming from out of state, 1888 Wild Road. Well, take a look at those webcams for yourself. Look at the conditions around the state. Go to our website, click on local programs, and there are webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a good week.